Alright, welcome to Counter Slam. We discuss anything and everything. War Machine Hordes and the What Iron Kingdoms. So <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so uh yes, yeah, so tonight we are at game seven of our Who's the Boss tournament series, which is really funny because last night we shot episode eight. But uh <laughs> But in order, you're going to see this one before you see the next one. So I already know, if you haven't seen, you know. No, you're going to see Yeah. So if you didn't watch last night's episode, you know, then you're, you know, you won't know who wins. But we already know who's going to be going on to the next round. But uh, good luck, buddy. Uh, now, unfortunately, tonight we did have uh, one of our players who actually had to back out of the entire tournament. Um, that was our, our good friend Conrad, who was in season two of the show. Um and uh, so, but I didn't want Brad to just feel like he just got a free pass. So yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take on Brad because Brad and I play every season and he beats me every game. <laughs> but I always have a great time losing to him. So uh, I thought, you know, I, I figured I'd give you a game and give you something to fight for. But no matter what happens tonight, you advance to the next round. So okay. congratulations. You'll get to draw your caster for the next round too. I'm going to go ahead and run my caster up the yeah. center of the board. <laughs> let you have that win, buddy. Yes, I can use it. I finally won a game against Brown. I won a game. That would be sick. Actually, that'd be really funny. <laughs> people, people would like be commenting, "What the crap is this game?" <laughs> Waste of my time. I took work off early. <laughs> yeah, that's never happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people. Uh, I just picture people commenting on YouTube. They'd be like, "Seriously." <laughs> Well, that was the fastest battle report we've ever seen. <clears throat> Thirty seconds long. Yeah, I got <laughs> things to do. I'm gonna go for the, <laughs> go for the internet's fastest battle report. It'd be awesome. Just run up. Oh, just, you run your caster up. I run my caster up. We'll just beat each other up and see who wins. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, I was like, good luck with that. By the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know though. Magnus has an armor piercing blade. He does have an armor piercing blade. Uh, mm. Damn it! I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> And yeah, Jerk is gonna be in the backfield. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, so anyway, uh, so which caster did you get tonight? Oh you said Magnus. Yeah. yeah Magnus the Warlord with Legion. With Legion. Yeah. Yep, Lightbringer, double war spears with UAs and a shredder. Now I have to say, we talked about this before, but the list you bring was I was thinking about playing Legion. That was the exact list I was gonna bring, which would have been really weird if we both would have played the same list. <laughs> but, um, yeah. But I said I opted for convergence, which I I decided to change my list uh, to what I the list I wanted to take uh, after I'd already picked my first list. So you're gonna be going up against the the list that I originally. Was, Post picking my caster for the first round, really wished I'd, I'd picked. Um, so it should be interesting to see what happens with. I got Xerxes two with in convergence, so uh, my jacks being eight four is will be pretty sick. Um, I'm looking forward to that. That's a uh, that's kind of the only way it gets any better. That is usually like Rise because it's like eight eight six. It'll be pretty sick. Yeah. But anyway, but yeah, I'm bringing two battle engines, so you got to deal with the double battle engine thing going uh, on. Um, I hate that battle engine. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that so bad. Well. I'm, yeah, can I destroy a pod? Yeah, you can destroy a pod. All right, awesome. Uh, next turn. Uh, so I'm going to put the pod back in play. Wait a minute, I thought the thing was dead. <laughs> no, 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 it comes back every no, no, turn. Oh, no. no. So, so my strategy to take out the pods to weaken that thing is just useless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's about right. <laughs> what do you mean you can sack pawn to one of those little things? <laughs> what? Yeah. What? God. It sees the little the war spear coming in. It's like, oh, no. It hits the spear. Done. <laughs> So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to this game. I think it should be fun. I think I actually stand a chance against you this game. I'm not playing Saren, so every time I play Saren against you, I lose. So. You're, playing, <laughs> you're playing one of my fat favorite casters in Scorn. Uh, one of my favorite power casters in Scorn. Yeah, now I do have to say, too, you, uh, this is your model that you painted, uh, which looks amazing, by the way. Uh, if you haven't seen Jose's painting model techniques and stuff, his models look amazing. Oh, yeah. And it uh, takes him forever to get it done, but when he does, man, it's worth, it's worth the wait. I tell you what, so... Um, it's not like me where I'm like Blightbringer four hours I'm done you know whatever it's, uh, which I'm kind of excited because people get to see my Blightbringer because you're playing my Blightbringer on the table that's so, not the your tight, models tiger those, theme. Are, those are actually my models actually, oh. I adored your models so I painted them <laughs> to a T <tee. laughs> Well, they say they say he well, said they're great. Imitation is great. Imitation is the greatest form of flattery. Yeah, yeah, it's a tiger tiger themed one. So, uh, which I think we've had out here on the table a couple times. So, but yeah, no, I'm so I'm super excited about this game. I think it'll be good. Um, and then on the flip side, after we get done talking about the game, kind of what we would have done differently, how I wish I hadn't ran my caster too far out there like I did. Um, Mm -hmm. We kind of want to talk a little bit too about uh, like we, we kind of want to address something that we've kind of been noticing, uh, which is 
uh, a lot of real negativity on the forums, it seems like, and uh, just kind of where we see that's going on. And uh, we will kind of want to talk about that too. So, jo you know, join us after the after the game too, and we'll you know stick around and we'll we'll kind of talk about that. And feel free to you know comment in the section comments below and uh, share your opinions on those topics too, because we like to hear from you guys too. So, uh, anyway, so you about ready to get this game? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's go. Welcome, Counter Slammers, to our Season 5 Who's the Boss Tournament Series. The players this week is Brad versus Conrad. Player 1 this week is Brad, who's bringing Lightbringer, Shredder, two Ogren Warspear units, and two Warspear Chieftains. Player 2 this week is Eric, who brings Xerxes 2, two Cyphers, a Corollary, two Transfinite Emergence Projectors, and an ADO. The scenario this week is fire support. If you dominate the friendly flag, you get one control point. If you control the enemy flag, you get one control point. If you dominate it, you get two control points. You can also destroy the enemy objective or remove it from play for one control point. This is also a kill box. The way you win is you get five control points or you assassinate the other person's warlock or warcaster. Let's get to the game. So we're about to get this game going, and the microphone a little closer so we can hear what's going on. Um, all right, so we have to choose an objective for our, our because we have the, the objectives out there. I think I'm going to do the one where it's they you roll one less die, I guess, with ra ranged attacks against it. What? Yeah, you and your whole little shooty army over there. So. <laughs> what? I'm going to do Effigy of Valor. Effigy of Valor. That's the, you don't. You're fearless, or you don't get knocked yep. down or something? Yep, you can't get knocked down, and then you gain cover when you're behind it. Cover, gotcha. Yep. I don't need cover. I'm on a battle engine. Uh -huh. You're going to need it. <laughs> Here, All right, so... All right, so you're going first. Mm -hmm. So let's get this game on the road. Oh, let's start the clock. We got a clock going, so... All right, clock. ready? Tell yep. me let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So I'm going to activate my caster first. Uh, Magnus is going to uh, cast Mobility for two. Hey, I have that spell too. That's great. I do have one of the ciphers is bonded here to Xerxes as well, which is interesting in Convergence. Uh, your jacks have uh, range, correct? The suckers have range? Yeah, they have range tax. Uh, yeah. We're going to cast uh, Bullet Dodger. Two. And now, is that on a model or is that on a, an AoE like area of effect? Uh, it says a uh, target friendly model. Gains plus two defense against uh, range attack rolls and dodge. Okay. And is it model or model unit? Sorry. Uh, just says a uh, target friendly model. Oh, okay. Yep, so I'm going to put it on Magnus. Sure. And... Uh, you just need to run them out to the middle of the board. <laughs> that's, yeah, that was my initial plan. <laughs> <laughs> the game was over. It was over. It was two minutes. Okay. Crazy. All right, we're good. E speed five goes up to speed seven due to mobility. Okay. I'm gonna go over to Magnus's house. Can Magnus come out and play? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, these guys here are gonna get a run order. Okay. They're gonna do their tan. Legion still makes me shudder. Then again, I've had bad experiences with Legion players, not necessarily the faction itself. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're nice Legion players. Uh, what? Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, um, there are two prey tokens in there. I know you probably want to change your prey target, so. Uh, no, I don't want prey. You uh, didn't do it. <laughs> didn't happen. Nope. No prey target. Sucks to be you. No. Come on. We're... There's a there's a, a, a brown one there from minions. Uh, it's it's on, it's on the side. Yep. There you go. All right. So. Yay. Uh. These guys would be the purple one. Uh, we're going to have them. They're going to pray caster. Okay. All right. Here, here's going to pray. Who's this guy here? Exactly. My bonded jack. Gotcha. <laughs> My bonded jack. Bondo. That's what I call that guy. All right. These guys are going to get a run as well. Bondo the bonded jack. Actually, these little servitors do not begin in play, so I'm going to pull them off the table. Okay. Um, Mr. Whitebringer. Uh, what do I want to do with you? We're going to do the uh, Withering Ash. I don't believe I want to do that, maybe. Withering Ash, yep. that's the plus two strength and armor? Is that right? Nope, Withering oh, no, Ash is my the, defense. Uh, yep, the concealment okay. and uh, my two defense to uh, any mod. Boom! We don't care about your st stupid stuff. Stupid concealment. Well, we kind of do, but. <laughs> uh, we're going to rile for two. And he's going to run. So before we go to a six, he runs 12. Schrader, he is going to pop up his six right there. Uh, raw for one. Okay. Is that everybody? That's everybody. All right. So, all right. So, I'm gonna lift the camera here. Should be good. Okay. So, uh, I'm not gonna worry about allocating. Because I have a corollary. Bullshit. <laughs> uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll have this guy is going to move up his five inches. He's going to drop three little guys. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. Actually, I'm going to put these behind him. Well, don't do that. I don't think it's going to matter. It's not going to matter. Put those there. Uh, next we'll do the same thing. Move this guy up here five inches. He'll drop his little servitors. Uh, this little guy is going to run. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's speed five. Darn it. I was actually hoping to be a little faster than that. I'm sure you're outside of <coughs> Okay. Uh, Corlair is going to activate next. He's going to get a point for being next to Xerxes. He's going to walk up. Going to give one to that guy, which gives one to that guy. Mm. Um, Xerxes will go next. He will cast mobility. And uh, he'll cast ignite on himself. And then he will move up. Uh, this guy is going to activate next, the bonded guy. He's going to run. No, actually, want to run. Hang on. <laughs> nope. Uh, I don't want to run. Actually, I'm going to activate this guy first. He's going to walk up to six. He's going to take a shot. Targeting that guy. Ooh. Um, I'm sure I'm going to be really short. Oh, dropped my tape measure there. Uh, yes. So it's going to deviate from... Oops, sorry. 
happen from there. Yep. It's going to go, uh, sorry, red is direction, so two inches to the five, which, actually here, you can, yeah, 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 so yeah. go ahead, you can, you can take your foot back there. Okay. So two inches to the five. Rough terrain. He will take a second <clears throat> shot targeting that guy. Which is going to be short. Alright, gonna deviate from there. Again, green uh, green is the direction. Uh, six four inches. So it's gonna go this way. There. Do that. This guy here gonna walk up six inches he's gonna take a shot at this guy mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be short I'm sorry buying that second shot gets it back to him uh, and so from there deviate four to the one come on no five to the two <laughs> so sorry these are all rough train shots I know I'm being terrible about saying that it's terrible so it's going to go pretty much right there. Uh, buy a second shot. Give that back to the core, Leary, because he's in six. Uh, targeting that guy again. Uh, four inches to the three. Uh, didn't really need that, but... <laughs> there, your yeah. objectives are completely covered. Um, and I believe that is my turn. Leeching on a warlock or a, or a war caster, which is so weird. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what we've been finding is that uh, we got some strange uh, techniques going on we're not used to. Okay, I'll keep uh, bolt dodger. Uh, this falls off. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. I hate having a new cancer. Scenario is a kill box, by the way, in case you were wondering. Oh, it's not. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to have to get back there. <laughs> uh, you can just run right there. I was just thinking about the same thing. Man. It, <laughs> it'll be just fine. All right. Uh, Blackbringer. Uh, he is going to... Move up four. Okay. Can you get the counter charge? No kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, can't do that. You can't do that. What, what, what is this? Gonna shoot the corollary. No! <laughs> oh, yes. He's a defense yeah. 12. Um, Do you know which shot you want to take? Yeah, we're going to take the. Or which aura you want? Spiritual corruption. Which one's that one? That's the. Uh, let's see here. Affected enemy models cannot cast spells, channel spells, or use animon. Okay. Deal. <laughs> you got a deal. All my spells are already cast. 
Okay. We're going to boost. Uh, 12, knee and a 7. May I hit? Hit. Okay. Uh, that's a 5 inch. AOE. Yes. Oh, I got a ring for that. I got a ring for that. <clears throat> I got a ring for that. Okay. All right, yeah, he's an armor 16. Boost damage. Let me let me double check that because that might be a 15. I, someone can tell me I'm wrong. Uh, it is a 15. I'm sorry. So okay. It's a dice straight. Uh, hey, look, box cars. So, <laughs> 13 to the what? Uh, 13 to the one. Okay. Well, his head is out. Yes. So no headbutts for that guy. <laughs> no pal sixes against you. <laughs> Those pal sixes, man. All right. Uh... These guys are going to need to run charge. Uh, he's going to attempt to charge here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's great. I like that. They have to make it into melee, right, to assault? No, they they have to make it into to charge. You can assault. You don't have to make it to your target to yeah, assault. You just, you just assault charge that guy. Okay. You, can, you finish your charge, but you still make your ranged attack. Yeah. Te actually, technically, you make the attack now, believe it or not. Okay. So. Uh, you're waiting until the rest of the unit is activated? No. You, you make, as you move, they do their assaults, you do the assault attacks. But it's it's so that if you kill a model that you've assaulted, you can move the next model if they assault something different or whatever. You can. What's the, what's his defense? Uh, his defense is 13. So you need an 8. Yep. Cocked. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get it anyway. Oh, okay. So you're what? What? Okay. What? What? Boxcar Brad, you're letting me down. Okay. You already got one boxcar. Wait, I now remember you can't go. This is an obstruction. You can't go over that. Just FYI. Okay. So he's just going to go. There. Okay. He's assaulted the same guy? Yep. Okay. What? What? Any eight? Of course miss. you miss. Oh, you missed it. Oh, I thought it was an eight. Yep, okay. seven. Yep, we'll slam. Him. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna okay. step. Is it six inches? I believe. Eight inches. My bad. Yep. Hey, look at that. Woo! Uh, what's the damage? Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, you're plus one. I got my hitboxes. So I'm gonna guess you got it. Dang it! Just put this guy on. That's okay. He's my one-point throwaway model. <laughs> He's all right. I'm good with it. He's just a filler. <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, run. I wish I had one point to throw away in scoring. You do. It's called feral guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got two of them. You know what they're doing right now? Collecting dust on my shelf. Because <laughs> it's either going to be a gobber tinker or a swamp gobber bellows crew. Woo! Um, he's going to charge him. We're going to go there. Which one is he solving right that guy? Yep. Okay. Uh, his defense 10. So you're 5. Uh -huh. That's okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, right. That's the exact opposite of Boxcar, Boxcar Brad. <clears throat> I know, I know, I know. Just It's okay. There. Boop. Hits. Hits. Uh, Pow 13. He has an armor 19. 19. So off 6. Of course. Five <laughs> to the what? 3. Right here. Right here. Right 
here. And here. Caster's going to walk up to here. Uh. And he's going to... Shredder will go up to here. All right. So I get my five back of Keep Ignites. Um, yeah, I think I'm good for those. Okay. So here, these rings go away, which actually well, I may need them. We'll see. If you want to grab that ring, you can. Oh, okay. I don't want to move your models. I'm a little too far away for all that. For all that nonsense. Okay. All that nonsense. <sighs> okay. You want to switch the table cam? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. People probably want to see what's going on on the table. <laughs> okay. It should be okay, I think. A little good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Might need to change it up when I actually start doing my attacks here in a second, because uh, it looks kind of close. But all yeah, right. It's a little close, but I mean, we're, for right now, you're okay. All right. So have the corollary go first. He's like, ow. <laughs> He's gonna walk up there to the hill. He's gonna get the one for activating the next to the caster. Uh, he will put. I really need more than two. I'll give one to that guy and one to this guy. I'll do one. Hang on, let me think real quick. While I'm doing all this garbage. Um, why don't we just do this? Uh, we will. We'll give this guy two, uh, which will give that guy one. So we're not doing all that. Um, this thing's going to activate first. So we'll move all that. Those go away. He's going to walk up to here. Mm -hmm. And he's going to start doing some spraying. Spray! Uh, definitely going to want one to boost, to hit. Uh, we'll do two for damage. And first spray is going to be targeting this guy in the back. Mm -hmm. So I get those two. Yep. I, don't, I don't get the UI, do I? No. Okay. Do I, wait, uh, do I get this guy? Sorry. What? You did, but you, you bumped it. You <laughs> yeah, you did. So I got all three? Yeah. Okay. It's all right. What is it, a 10? Uh, yeah, 10 inch. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, all right, so I get three dice. They're 12s. Um, yep. Four, so I need eight. So first guy in front, that hits. Yep. Four dice for damage, off six. Oh, he's probably dead. Ooh. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Uh, Guy on the left, um, if I kill these two guys, don't move them because I have to choose a, a target within two inches of this guy for my second shot. Okay. So uh, we'll do the guy on the left first. Mm -hmm. Hits. Yep. Can't, can't not hit. Uh, he's cooked. Um, and then we'll do, here, you know, actually, let's do this. 
We'll just put that next to him so we know he's gone. Mm -hmm. uh, then the guy on the right. Uh, no, I miss him. So uh, second shot, I will do the same attack. So well, he's he's gone. He technically yeah. is gone now. But yeah. same guys. So that guy there. Okay. Hits. Mm -hmm. On a six. Uh, six points of damage. Okay. This War Jackson activate is going to charge that guy. Back to him. Uh, I need a four. That's a four. Well, mm -hmm. it's a ten, but. Uh, <laughs> he's 16. Oh, they had set defense, but I still hit anyway with a ten. So um, it's a POW 18. Yeah, plus so two. plus two. Yeah, he's gone. Um, this battle engine will activate next. Just gonna get rid of those. Just gonna move up to five. So a full whist. Extra dice to hit. Two dice to damage. And he is. Oh man. Uh, you guys spread out well enough. Um, I move my jack up now. I'm going to spray my jack. Um, let's go with that guy. Those two. Yep. Hits. Uh -huh. Ooh, nice catch there, Spider-Man. All right. Off six. Oh, uh, four points to the first guy. Second guy. Mm -hmm. He's gone. And uh, second spray will do against that guy as well. Okay. Hits. Mm -hmm. Six. He's dead. where it gets a little dicey because I know what I want to do. Alright, so first we'll move this guy up. Oh, sorry, four inches there. We'll do that. Hang on. He's gonna come over around this way. Uh, he is going to take a shot uh, targeting this guy. Mm -hmm. Four, need an eight. Nope, it's gonna deviate. Green direction. The one, a couple inches. It's like about two inches. It's gonna go right there. Uh, he'll buy a second shot, which he will shoot at that guy. Yep. Need an eight. Nope. It's gonna deviate. Uh, to the two. Uh, Hey, Jose, I hit your model like you said he was going to. Um, about th I probably three, gotta watch out for that three, three and three and three quarters inches to the what was it to the five or to the two? Two. Uh, which is that way. So I'm gonna go pretty much like right over that guy. <sighs> What's armor on your light ring right now? Oh, it's just nineteen. Dang it, this really sucks. I'm gonna strangle hold him, because obviously that would be a really good thing for the Blightbringer. <laughs> but if I don't move him, then at least you can't run to me. Or you can't charge me. Well, I say that. <laughs> right by attack. Well, that's true. 
I should shut up. Shut the <laughs> hell up over there. <laughs> All right, so let's go over here. Or he's within range. All right, so I'm going to try and strangle hole. I'm going to boost. Uh, I don't need to boost to hit. I need to boost damage. Hey, I hit. <laughs> Woo! Boost damage. I'm off of eight. Okay, that's good. So two to the three, and you strangle held. Do you know what that does, by the way? What is it? Stranglehold. Um, Can't move, right? You get your movement or your action. Okay. Uh, so four. He's going to back up his three. He's sitting on his focus. All right. Red light. I'm going to build this one. You're making a ride by yourself to make your attack. Huh? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. He missed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that's everybody. So. All right. Too bad. I'm ahead of him by a minute. Let's see if I can hold out. <laughs> there you not. Upkeep, uh, bold dodger. What? Don't yeah. upkeep that. You don't need to upkeep that. I need to. Here's a. Uh, Blade is a force of bullet dodger. Bullet dodger? <laughs> Why they call him Boris Bullet Dodger? Because he dodges bullets, Addy. <laughs> Actually, um, hang on one second. Mm hmm. I might have to double check. I may. I. I think I was outside that ring because he put down the ring where I could cast spells. Was I outside? Okay. You were outside. Okay. I, I just want to double check. I. You're good. I, it hit me right as soon as I was like, "Oh wait, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to cheat to win." I mean, it helps, but I don't want to. <laughs> Fucking cheater. <laughs> cheater, cheater, <laughs> pumpkin eater. <laughs> I don't need to cheat to win, I mean, but if, if it happens, you know, I'm not gonna. I mean, you know, unless, unless everybody else is okay with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, cheater, right. cheater, pumpkin eater. Alright. Table cam. Woo! Sorry, no, Eric. It's alright, Eric. We, we've all known that you were a cheater for years. I played Legion mm -hmm. of Cricks, alright? Mm -hmm. Yep. I cheated for one. years. I can play Convergence to keep me humble. <laughs> 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 Just keep telling yourself that. <laughs> I was humble man alive! Alright. Mm. What's the defense of Cersei's? He's a 13. 13. Okay. Thirteen, baby. Yeah. Thirteen. Alright, these guys are gonna get a run charge. Uh he's gonna charge it. Oh boo doo ba 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 doo. Okay. Salt. Need five to hit. Boom 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 boom. Hits. Uh you're off six. Uh off four. A four, because you're pretty Yeah, pretty dark. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, one's a one. one, one. Take it. Deal. <laughs> Deal! Yeah, that kind of sucks, but... Charge here. Not Bondo, no! It's all shot. Miss. Uh, okay, never mind. You're engaged me. You're good. Because... Uh, if you weren't engaged with me, if you miss, you have to roll against your own guy. <laughs> I still hit. What? Three, four, five? Prey. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Ah! Dang it. Stupid oh, prey. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> hey! Deal with it. <laughs> no! I need to charge. I get plus two. I mean, he'll still take a bunch of damage when you get your actual charge attacks in, you know? Yeah. Hits. Hits. Well, now I know you anything but snake eyes, yeah. One to five. But it's minus six. Minus four. Four. Dang it. <laughs> okay. You just keep reminding me, okay? Oh, you got your UA. Well, I'm glad you're all bunched up now for my battle engine, by the way. You're, you're welcome. So we'll just uh, run around here. Why not? <clears throat> Charge tags. Right here. What? Hits. Off six. Off four. Four. <laughs> 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 
You know, I'm like thinking of all so six, six to three. three. Okay. All right. Next attack. Whoop. Hit. Off six. Off four. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. <laughs> that is bad. I don't want to spoil what happened last night on the game. Oh my gosh! By the way, people watch this on YouTube next week. You guys are gonna have a whole. It's one of the funniest stuff ever happens in, in on the show, on the game. Okay, so you hit. Yep. Uh, four. <laughs> you almost said it. Uh, <laughs> uh, four, four to four. four. Yep. Okay. Deal. I'll take that. Okay. All he does make him mad. He's like, damn it. Um, charge. What? Yeah, didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, so uh, Needing five strike. Yeah. Hits. Uh, off six. Off six. Now it's off six. <laughs> Nothing. And now it's off six. Uh, charge. Okay. It's off six. Nothing. <laughs> you get lucky on these damage rolls. I know. I love them. Have you assaulted any one of these? Charge. Yeah, yeah he's, yeah, he's doing That's he's what I'm doing. All my assaults. Oh, okay. He's doing the assaults first. Oh, okay. It's. I, 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 never mind. I'll say. <laughs> uh, one to the four. Charge tags. Woo. Okay. I uh, need fives. Yep. Hits. <laughs> Off. Six. six. Mm -hmm. This one. One to the six. I'm doing ones and twos, these. Ones and twos, these, baby. Boxcar. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I have no idea. Hits. Yes. That was damage. Yeah. You wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I was just kidding. <laughs> so seven to the four. Yep. He's right on the side section. Mm, last one. Hits. Oh. Eight one. to the six. There you go. There's your damage rolls. Get, get a kick in. Uh, just his right arm. Right, so... Awesome. That's what I wanted. That's what I What's his armor? Who? Xerxes. Uh, he is currently a 20. Armor 20. Because he gets the Warcaster rule. <laughs> <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Still still name. Well, you can't. He has to get this movement or action. Well, he's just gonna shoot. Aim. Yeah, <laughs> just shoot. He's just gonna shoot. He's just gonna shoot Xerxes. You could have just walked. I mean, no, it's all right. As long as you're trying to hold me up, I'll yeah. shoot you. <laughs> all right, so he's a thirteen. How rude! <laughs> Stranglehold. Is that a <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna lose it. All right. Got you. Okay. Um, what type of damage did you want? I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna do. Uh... Or what type of shot? I guess. I guess it really doesn't matter. Really, does it? Yeah. Not right now. I guess we're gonna do uh, spiritual corruption. No spells. No spells. No spells for you. 
Boost damage. Okay. Dice off five. Five. Ooh, eight points. Wish I could transfer that. <laughs> It's actually a pretty good hit. You like that? I do. Did you like Stupid it? blight bringer. Did you like it? Um. Caster. Did you know? Moves get right there. Drop two. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just go. He's gonna put tenacity up on uh, Blackberry. Okay. Just thought about it. But, eh. Seems legit. Too legit. I'm sure. Like, <laughs> we'll sit right here. Okay, so let me get my focus back. Focuses. I'll keep it right. Let's move this camera to here. Probably be a good shot for those. Uh, okay. So. You can't hide, Eric. You can't hide. What's that thing about hiding? <laughs> Yeah, so he's gonna, this corridor is going to activate. He's going to give three to this guy. I'm not kidding. Is that guy? Um, okay, this corridor is going to, or I'm sorry, corridor. <laughs> corridor! All these corridors <laughs> on the table. No, uh, the battle engine. Sorry. It's going to go here. It's going to come over here slightly. Put it down, one to hit, two to damage. Imagine that. Actually, good. Woo! <laughs> okay. So, first thing is targeting that guy. Mm -hmm. Those three? Yep. Do I get your blight burner? Hang on. No. No, just that. Okay. So, here. Mm -hmm. uh, eight hits. Yep. Six, dead, nine damage. This guy here, Ooh, it hits with a ten. Six, uh, three, four, five, six, seven points to this guy. Yep. See the number three? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Uh, UA hits. Yep. Uh, five points to him. Second spray. <sighs> Target same guy. Okay. I mean, technically, it's so go mm -hmm. against your UA. Uh, actually, I think this is eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Uh, well, that was disappointing. He lives with three boxes. Yeah, that's not gonna last very long. Okay, Damn so. It. Uh, <laughs> This guy's gonna activate. He is going to stand still and aim at this guy. He's gonna put him right back where they were. Uh, How surprising, Harry. So those three. Yep. All right. So I'm a six. I need a mm -hmm. six. Hits. Mm -hmm. Woo <laughs> Off six again. He's gone. First guy gone. Uh, we'll do the other guy, not the UA. Hits. Ha ah, yeah, he's cooked too. And then your UA. Hits. Ooh, need that for damage. Uh, five points to the UA. 
And I'll do another spray. Spray that guy. Well, spray the same guy. So it's. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's he's gone. charge that guy what's up fool what uh here i'll turn the camera so you can kind of see what's going on uh yeah so uh need anything but to hit it's mm -hmm. power 18 two, two. there you go 12 to the six how's that for some sixes <laughs> Okay. All right. Second attack. His arm is out. So, uh, so hits. Um, off two. No. Oh, dang it! <laughs> well, I rolled two. Um. Xerxes is going to go next. So one, two. Walk up here and swing on that guy. Uh, yeah, so first hits. Pow, 17. So plus, plus one. one. Uh, six points. Is, you, is there already taking damage? Oh, this guy is number five. Nope. So, well, you're going to kill him anyway. You go ahead. Yeah, so hits. Uh, this one's straight dice, I believe. Oh no, yeah. sorry, no minus two. <sighs> One point. Ooh, okay. All right. Well, I will oh. buy another attack and <laughs> murder you that way. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> God. <laughs> and it's gonna come back over here. Oh boy. So now what do I do? Chance free strike. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. <laughs> Charging him. One to him. Fours. Uh, sorry, sixes hit. Hits. Plus two. Goodbye. <laughs> right, still sitting on two. Uh, dang it, that's my turn. All right. <laughs> you got a lot left there, buddy. Time. Hey, with a black break, that's pretty much all you need anymore. Yeah. It's not stranglehold this time. Uh oh. That's his, uh, what's Xerxes armor now? Uh, 22. 22. It would have been 23, but I'm gonna miss that stupid thing. I would have killed it, dude. <laughs> Those odds, it's Eric. What? No, what? <laughs> what? What? No. What? No. remember can I shoot while in melee he can shoot he does not get an aiming bonus okay
He's a smidgen. Keep him here. And here. Yeah. Right there. Yep. Okay. Right there. No fire Xerxes. Okay. Uh, I need an eight. Good hit. Why are you boosting? What type of damage do you want to do? Is it spell one again? Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright. Well. Or you get plus your strength and armor, or warrior metal. Or you get plus, or you get concealment. Yeah, we'll do dragon breath. Strength and armor. Strength and armor. Okay. All right. Uh, need an eight. Uh, well, I'm gonna hit no matter what. Yeah. Even if I do. Okay. Sure. <laughs> there yeah, you go. Got it. We're good. So, okay. Uh, boost damage. Okay. Dice off seven. Nothing. Woo. <gasps> you have three sixes there? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. It wouldn't put past you, Brad. So. I know. I know. Um, Magnus is going to feed. What? Yeah. Okay. Boom. The only thing you get are my two jacks. <laughs> yep. Okay. So which two table edges would you like to choose, sir? This one. Oh, okay. <laughs> your, so your table edge. And, uh... This one here? Yep. So I can't move this direction or that direction? Correct. Okay. He's on charge here. First of charge, then feed it. But, sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm sure anything but hits. Yeah, he's a seven. He is a seven. Okay. See anything but. Make sure you don't have anything special here. Armor piercing, of course. Spinning up and trying to boost it on. Okay, they already boosted it. So. Armor piercing, uh, it's. It's. It's power and a sword? Uh, power and a sword is uh, 13. Really? 13 yes. weapon master? Jeez. Or not weapon master, I'm sorry, yeah, armor piercing. Um, you're plus five. Yeah. Uh, so 10, 14, 16 to 1. This is where you take your squinty face emoji out. <laughs> there you go. Dang, it was only the last one attack. Now, is that always armor piercing or is it just for that? Uh, is that a star attack? Star attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought it was like all attacks. Like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, he'll throw tenacity up on himself. What's that make his defense now? Right now? Uh, his defense now is uh, 15, 18. 15, 18. And against range, he's a 17, 18. 17, 18. Because of both of Okay. Try to go right here. 
Okay, so it says choose two table edges. Enemy models beginning in advance in Magnus's control area cannot advance. Oh, beginning in. Yep. Oh gosh, so. Well, my servitors can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, he's going to. So he can't go that way or that way. He can come this way, though. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Well, that kind of sucks, actually. Uh, it's like a little more than I intended it to. Oh boy. Um, I got you. I got you ain't got. You ain't got nothing. <laughs> Table something. Right. Come over here and punch the camera. Let's put that over here behind these guys. Um, man, I'm trying to think of what to do now. It really does change a lot. Which um, do we? That sounds bad, but I kind of want one more turn for that feet because I know I'm going to need it. I would wait. Yeah, I, well. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, Jose? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. What was that? You buy me a fucking animal mask. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he just can't go this way. This guy can also walk that way. He can go this way. Okay, and he's <laughs> really messing with you. <laughs> Shut up, Jose. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, well, first things first. This will be Shut up, Meg. <laughs> Shut up, Meg. Uh, here's an intense. So I'm going to shoot your caster. Whee! Okay. I think you get your Blackbringer, too. Is that right? Uh, no. You know. Really? No. <laughs> Cheating liar, liar. What's his defense? 17? Uh, yeah. Range? 17 against All range. Right, we'll do... God, this is terrible. Um, ugh. Yeah, I'm going to need two. Your armor 18? Armor 18. All right, well, this is going to be dumb. But, okay, so four dice to hit. Nope. So I get shot. Uh, advance two inches. Because of bolt dodger. Okay. Which way are you going? Um, ooh, back. No, no, we won't go back. We'll go into the other. Second spray. Yep. Okay. Uh, Eleven. What did you say his defense was? I'm sorry. What, Seventeen. Wow, that's again. Dang it. Four dice. Figure out what he hit at least once. 
So you're gonna move it again. <laughs> Is he healthy? Mm -hmm. He's very healthy, isn't he? No, it's okay. Never mind. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Corler is going to go next. He's outside six. This is going to. Yeah, there's just with everything trying to practice, but yeah, I mean that's just a lot of really cool spots for it. Mm -hmm. really cool Darn it! I really wish I had an extra focus now. Um, all right, well, um, God, this really sucks. Okay, he's gonna charge that guy. to start spraying. So what we're going to do... Could you advance that way? Yeah, he... Oh, he... I'm oh, sorry, you're right. He was out. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's always something new in the show. <laughs> right. I could try for string hold again. Won't be able to advance towards him. No, I can. He's he wasn't in. He wasn't in. Oh, okay. It's not an aura. It's when it's when you activate in his gotcha. control. It's a pulse, not an aura. Uh, then I'm not sitting on any focus. That's not good for him. I guess over that thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get out of the way. Okay. <laughs> and this guy's gonna dance over to here. And we're gonna put three on the damage side. Okay. Uh going on your blighty. Blighty right. person. Need a five. Need a five. Mm -hmm. Hits. Uh, armor 19? Yep. Off 9. Hang on, it's cocked. Uh, so, 6 of 8, 9 points to the 1. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
Second spray hits. Yep. Nine. Uh, nine, which is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to the four. Up here. There you go. Yeah. Turn, man. All right, friend. <laughs> friend. Don't call me buddy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Okay. Don't call me pal, friend. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna let pull dodger out. It's okay. That can that come down. Um, uh. Feet again. Yes, yes. What? Uh, Blighty. It's gonna activate. He's gonna walk to here. Sure. I assume he's facing the. Yeah, okay. he's facing here. Five's it. Woo! Hits. Uh, crit poison? <laughs> yeah. Crit poison? He's not living. <laughs> uh, off one. Off one. Okay. Uh, two to three. Okay. Induction's out. Uh, second attack. Hits. Off one. Uh, six to the four. What was it? Six to the four. Oh, six to the four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, bad one. Hits. Off one. Oh, God. <laughs> Boxcar Brad. Uh, 11 to the six. Okay. Cash is going to activate. Oh my god, the microphone's been off this entire time. You're kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Don't do that to me. I would literally start crying. <laughs> you just don't know, Jose. <laughs> I can give it to him. <laughs> what? Yeah. You can? Mobility. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's what's going to happen. Uh, he's going to cast uh, Mobility. For two. You better go to the kill cam, Jose. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, you might want to cut it. Well, you know, you can see it. You're good. What is it on? Three focus? Yep. Yeah. It's good. Uh, he's going to charge Xerxes. Uh, eight inches away. He's uh, he's speed seven. Sure, there you go. Yeah. Uh, need a 
minus six armor piercing. Who's to hit? Okay. Hey, hit straight dice. Ooh. A twelve will end it. He's on a violent attack. He'll spend another f uh, another one to boost all damage and attack rolls. He's got powerful attack rolls. and damage rolls. Yep, powerful attack. I'm attacking with this weapon. Hits. And it's thirteen. Yep. Off s uh, seven. Uh oh. Sorry, Chi Chi. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I think he actually got me. Yeah. Gotta move that dice cam. I can't see it with the dice door. Oh. Move that other dice is. It's a six. <laughs> so, no. Five points of damage. Yeah, well, he's or only four on. Point, four points of damage. Yeah, but he's only on three, so let's go. Oh, yeah. That's good game, mate. <sighs> Dang it! <laughs> I'm sorry. You're supposed to lose, anyways. <laughs> I'm supposed to lose anyway. Can you see if the microphone is on? Please. Microphone is on. Uh, we yeah. All right. Curse you, curse you, <laughs> curse you. I told you, you know, yeah. and I started thinking about it. I was like, why did I move him out there? Well, yeah, why did I move him out there? I could have moved him behind the forest. Because you wanted to strangle hold and then you decided against it. <sighs> yeah, it put me too far out there because yeah. I knew it would be too close then. Um, and I was like, uh, so but I had to get out. And I was like, man. I, well, no matter what, I would have been in range. You would have got me yeah, with yeah. the mobility. So I, sh I still should have just gone behind the forest. I don't even know what I was thinking. Because uh, then I could have came out next turn, maybe pop feet, and then had the two battle engines spray your caster, and that would have been it. I, 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 turn, I totally I locked down the other battle engine, like yeah. not being able to, to do. I mean, just stuck on the other side of the board, like, <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, I felt, like I said, I, you know, I felt bad for you, so I thought I'd let you win this one since, you know, your opponent couldn't make it tonight. Uh, you know, but. Uh, <sighs> Again, another season goes by, and Eric can't, still can't beat Brad. Dang it. <laughs> it's okay, Eric. One day, one day I'm going to quit feeling bad for you, and I'm just going to take it all out on you. You'll get your time to shine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have, like, has I'm gonna have like party animation going, like, when we're here, like, it's going to look strobe lights and stuff going on. I'm going to be like, yeah, woo! <laughs> I'm going to download, like, a, like, an app that has, like, applause. I think I've beaten everybody else on the show except for you. Well, I say that, but I, I will say I haven't played like a lot of the new guys I haven't played yet on the show. But of the original cast, I've beaten everybody except you. You're the only one I haven't beat yet. I make it my mission to beat you every time. I know, right? <laughs> well, you're doing a good job. Darn it. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so good game. Now, So after this, you'll get to draw your caster. Obviously, you'd get to do that anyway. Mm -hmm. So your caster's going to be, you're going to be taking on, uh, I can't tell you who you're taking on because that episode is not aired yet. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, <laughs> so, what? Um, anyway, no. So the uh, all right. So one of the things that I want to talk about too, which we didn't talk about before, was uh, the, so this sort of forum culture where I know a lot of people have been getting on the forums and and like a lot of just kind of you know when as soon as a model releases you know in a no quarter or online like people are just like instantly ready to criticize it. It's no good. It's terrible. It doesn't. It doesn't. It just does what we already do. It doesn't replace anything. It doesn't help us do anything. You know. And there's this kind of thing where it's just. It seems like no matter what Private Express does, like model wise, like it's just never gonna please. It seems like it doesn't seem like it's not gonna please most people. It just seems like it, it just on the forums it doesn't please anybody. Is what it feels like. Like the man in the relationship. 
<laughs> Sorry. So I had, yeah. <laughs> now I, you know, I do, I do have to say this though. Crix is pr usually pretty good. The only thing that they kind of have been Crix players that whine need to shut up. No, well they they don't though generally. Yeah, I mean I most of the time. That. Well, I mean you know the only and I mean the guys from Party Foul. I mean they did a really great job of actually explaining. Uh, you know, talking about cricks and, and actually breaking it down. Like when you go through cricks and you go through their infantry, like you go through stat line, uh, stat line by stat line, their infantry is mediocre. But when you put their casters and their UAs into the equation, I mean, the game starts to, to bend. That Blend way. In way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Starts to lean towards the dark side. I mean, because yeah. so there is a balance there. I mean, there, there, there's a game breaking balance but there <laughs> uh, I mean as far as like a you know a generalized piece but I mean Crick's players they they really did. and I mean to be honest like to to a certain degree um, in a lot of factions it's not always the models that are coming out I mean sometimes there are sometimes it's more tomatoes to tomato soup you get something that's just like well, we do that. Yeah, we yeah. already do that. It's just a different model to do that, and you know, and I understand that. And I kind of felt that way about the the character models, well, the character universe. Let, let me ask this because now, I, I of course, I play Crix and Legion and Convergence. Now, Crix and Legion, I can say they don't have a lot of flamers. Like when we release something, usually we're pretty excited for it because we'll find a way to make something work. Mm -hmm. uh, in Crix, it's kind of the same way. The only thing that the people kind of poo pooing was the uh, bathroom, you know, because he's just you know every time I've I've proxied him on the table he just dies like mm -hmm. super easy uh, and that's kind of the problem with crooks jacks they're very they're very glass cannony mm -hmm. and um but yeah, then on top of that you've got uh convergence which actually saw kind of a mass exodus of people leave believe it or not or kind of shelve their convergence until some new stuff comes out so like you could post something in the convergence forums and like it'll still be up there like three weeks later like in the same main thread i mean because it's just there just aren't a lot of convergence players, at least at the moment. So, or at least not people that are actively playing and hurts. going on the forums. And I mean, I, I mean, it, it hurts the you know, like globally, it hurts because of the fact that you're going to go into a you're going to go into a tournament, you're going to go into a, up against convergence, and you go, I don't know what that does. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I try to use it to my advantage all the time. Uh, what's that model's name again? Hmm. And I mean, it's wait, <laughs> your battle engine does what? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, but on top of that too, though. But also, but with Chris, Chris and Legion, Chris and Legion tend to place very high in tournament standing. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are playing them; they're doing well in the tournaments. Where a lot of the maybe perhaps a lot of the factions that where you're getting a lot of the complaints are from the factions that aren't necessarily t placing. Now every faction places at some point or another in in the tournaments. It's not like it's not like there's no really good scoring players that, that win tournaments or at some point haven't won a tournament or you know trolls or kator you know all these things like that but at the same time it seems like the ones who uh, like but kator is a great example because uh we know people friends of the show who have uh almost given up playing the game who play kator because they feel like they've been shafted by privateer press over for the last several book releases like they think ruin is good but everything else they feel like is just terrible and um you know but there's a lot of this uh just real negativity, but I wonder if, if that sort of has something to do with it, where like a lot of these people aren't necessarily placing it with their factions, and so it's just like, well, they're not worth playing anymore. But I mean, as soon as you have, <laughs> but I mean, that's the thing, like as soon as you have uh, some of the top players, like you had Jason Watt, he played Scorn, so he came up with the Mordecai and Fist list and his Makeda, uh, Makeda 1 list that was just widely played across the boards, and for the last mm -hmm. year, a uh, year and a half. That's all you can hear people talk about is like, oh, you should play the Mordecai, Jason Watt, you should play Fist more. Convergence player. is the same way with Watt right now. It, yeah, the people it, play it, his list. But that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, you, you see a top player pick up a faction and start playing that faction and winning tournaments, and then all of a sudden it's everybody's like, well, this is absolutely amazing. I mean, you just have to. And I mean, it was the same thing with Epic Zol. Everybody poo pooed on, and they still do. They, they still poo on Epic Zol all the time. And now people are actually starting to win with his theme force, which even I looked at and I was like, eh, it seems a little bland, but it's strong. You know, there's a there's a guy out there right now. His name's Jason Belsha, and I mean, he's done really really well with that. You know, with that list. Mm -hmm. So I mean, a lot of times, I mean, it, it really just comes down to uh, you know a, a great player. I mean, didn't uh, if I'm not mistaken, didn't Kador just win? A big con was it small con? So, yeah, I think uh, somebody did one with the Kador list, yeah, yeah. or Kador army, yeah. Well, I, mean, I, I know it's. You know. I, mean, I mean, it really. I mean, it was the same with TJ. And I mean, sometimes, and it's hard. It's really hard. 
you know, when you get, you know, you get new releases and you look at it and you're just like, ah, I just don't know. Well, and let me ask you this. The, the poo-poo that goes on, on the forums, as I'm going to call it, the, the negativity, does that affect your purchase habits? Like, do you, do you not buy models because of, like, people, like, do they sometimes raise good points? Does, is it, or is it just because it's not tried and tested that, you, you know, you'll pick it up anyway? Or, you know, because I collect, I, I pick up a lot of things just because I'm like, sort of a completionist. Well, usually, like, well, yeah, that's anymore. how I am. Like, I'm going to complete, I mean, I have everything in Scorn in multiple numbers. The only thing that I don't have is the Venator Catapult crew. Yeah. And the only reason I don't You know purchase. what's funny? The only thing I don't have in Legion is, the, is our Catapult. Yeah, <laughs> and, and artillery, <laughs> and then our artillery is something we should definitely cover and something that we should definitely talk about. Because Which is funny because I actually, I think the Legion one could actually be fairly cool with the scather templates that I got. Like, I actually have a list that's all scather templates on the table. It's hilarious. <laughs> It'd be funny hey, to play. And, and it's, it's a lot. It's a lot easier to test things out and like that when Vassal uh, mm -hmm. to first before you end up purchasing because I feel the same way about Xerxes, like with the beast fa with the uh, beast pack with the scarab packs. I mean, if you run a couple of Sentinels and just like all scarab packs, and so it's a huge purchase. It's a huge model, and I would like to test it, but I think that that actually has a lot of potential mm -hmm. with their flanking ability. Uh, you can really just you can eat chew through heavies and with that many you know smalls on the you know you can just I don't know how it would so that's the thing is I don't know how it would do on dude spam like I don't know how I would be able to clear out for a dude spam on that but I mean that's something I would like to test on like Vassal yeah. so sometimes I mean you know that's like the one of the fewer things like you look at beast packs beast packs and uh, reptile hounds and, and scorn some of the least uh, purchased models but I mean if you were to run them, it's it's just like niche, you know. It, it you know, and that's really what it boils down to is you know who out there is actually playing this and who's actually run enough games because you talked to, you spoke with uh, Mr. Flanzer. Yeah. And I mean, how many games did he tell you the first? Did His he play? first year, he said he played over three hundred games in a year, probably, and uh, yeah. he said he probably lost like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you get to be a good player, and I mean, how many games are you playing in the week? I mean, like 15, 20 games. And I mean, you play this stuff over and over and over again. You see the same things over and over. You know how to tech against it. And I mean, that's yeah. really what yeah. it boils down. So, I mean, a lot of times it's just negativity. Uh, and I mean, when you encounter those things, I mean, is it is it best to, to try and argue with that person and try and beat their opinion? I, in my opinion, no. Yeah, I mean, you know, and, and interesting enough, the sort of it sort of feels like because the I've heard a lot of people say the forums are so toxic that they won't even go on there and post anymore, or even I look. Go to Facebook pages, and, and the Facebook pages are sort of that outlet where it's like the more it seems like the more level-headed people can post things. Um, I, mean, I mean, you even encounter that on the Facebook pages. I mean, but it's, yeah, it doesn't seem as, as heavy though. That's no, thing, so. but, but I mean, scorn pages are are absolutely just littered with that most of the time. And, and I mean, it, you do have some really positive posters on there, but it, it just it just seems like that kind of and everybody's like, oh well, you know, you could have we could play trolls, and they have <laughs> three fantastic. Uh, Doomy incarnations, and they got Dooney is not, and their toys are better than mine. And it's just, yeah. and, you know, it's, it's it's the same thing. I mean, you jump over on the troll pages, and they're saying that you know, Crix has this, and you, it, it really just boils down to that. Yeah. I mean, you just gotta well, try and weed that out, and just try and really just look at the people that are actually trying to play those. I and mean, that's the thing, like, really look at the people that are actually saying like. Oh, I tried this new crazy thing, or oh, did you see this with the theme force, or try this out, and and really try and focus in on those things. And I mean, if you really try and focus in on those things, I think that that's what's going to make your faction better. That's what's going to make you as a you know better player in that yeah. faction. Yeah. Um, so, Brad, do you, do you do you find that like the like what people post in the forums do, does that affect like your purchasing habits? Does that affect like the models that you buy or that you want to try out or lists that you try to run? I like I feel that everyone has their own flavor. I mean, you, you're gonna you're, you're gonna run across the the people that are, that'll dis, you know, like distance themselves from the models that you know you think are good, mm -hmm. you know, in your opinion, and it doesn't affect my purchases. Yeah, okay. You know, nobody, nobody, nobody thought in God's green earth that troll bloods would win tournaments until Jay Larson came up and it's mm -hmm. like, hey, I got EE -E and I got Runes of War. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. I don't know. And then, then you know, um, nobody thought they were going to play the Blighted Wasp until JVM bought like yeah. six sets of them at uh, War Machine Weekend mm -hmm. <laughs> and started running Death Wings. 
Yeah, no, and the uh, that I mean, is a good point. Uh, you know, it's it's interesting because a lot of these you know players, you know, I I for example bought the two units of the ogre and boarding party for pricks. Yeah, and it's always funny. I'll take them and I'll play them, and people will be like, they literally don't know. They're like, is that a new unit? What the heck's that? Which of those? Those mercenaries or something? I'm like, no, they're they're pricks. Models. I'm like, really? I'm like, yeah. And then I play them, and they're like. Wow, I like couldn't kill any of those guys. I'm like, I know they're yeah. good. Like nobody plays them though, and and you know, so uh, I start playing them. Uh, I'm playing in the Company of Iron and White Flag Games. Okay, and that's part of their yep. their unit. And uh, I was amazed. I was I played them for the very first time. And yeah, they have, they have combined melee or yeah. combined range, uh, which makes them they can get the Rat Seven. You know, they got Drag, which make like, Mat Sevens Eight Wounds. Like, yep, I was beating they're, on they're some good. Scorn. There you go. <laughs> It happens. <laughs> Crick's beating up Scorn? No. Nah. He probably wasn't playing Zolzin. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, gosh. Yeah, but, um, you know, I, I just keep thinking about the, the, you know, these people are having these issues on the forums and they, they post it. And it's, it's sort of like, it just seems like today's culture, you know, it's like everyone's got a, it just seems, you know, they talk about 2015 was just the year of the complainer, man. People just, mm. everyone complaining about everything. And that's, Sort of, I feel like, is what kind of spilled over into the forums. It's really where it's becoming where people are just, you know, they're tired of hearing it. Like, they'd rather just not go on the forums. Like I said, man, I mean, it's just like everything else that you that you come across in anything these days. I mean, you really just have to, you just have to develop your own filter. Mm -hmm. and you see it and you just, just have to, you know. And I mean, that, and I mean it's, an, you know, it's frustrating. Like, you come across and you're like, wow, that's just complaining, complaining. And, it, yeah. and I see it, and I, you know, and I'll talk about it. But, I mean, I'm not, you know, it's, it's, it's not deterring me from looking at the people who are having positive posts. The things that I haven't seen, mm -hmm. uh, the things that I do want to see, you know, because that's what I want to see. I want to see new ideas. I want to see different ideas. I want to see new things. I don't want to see people just poo-pooing on them. You know, I don't want to see people just saying, oh, well, that's dumb. Oh, well, that's stupid. You know, and I, and I'm not saying that it's, <clears throat> I'm innocent of that. You know, when, when I first started, you know, locking into Scorn and that was right when they launched the, the bugs. I was the first person on the forums who was saying like, ah, speed three. Are you, are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> and, you know, and, after playing it a while and that's mm -hmm. and really it was after after having the Xerxes release and then having the bugs release it really made me realize that I just have to play them mm -hmm. I just have to play them more I have to play mm -hmm. them more and see what the new ideas are and that's where I saw the Jason Hoffman uh, Cyclops uh, you know the Cyclops spam that I absolutely love uh, and then I run the Drake spam as well. Drake I mean, spam is good. Yeah, it's Drake really... spam is really good. Mm -hmm. The Cyclops spam just just surprises the heck out of everybody because there's just so few models on the table. You just move a couple things out, and everybody's like, is... "Really? Cool. That, that, <laughs> that, that's it?" And then all of a sudden, like, "Wow, the card comes out of nowhere." <laughs> well, well, you know what's what's interesting about that too is um, the Nephilim, for example, and Legion don't get played a ton. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. people aren't sure how to make those guys work um, in a lot of lists, except for it seems like the Protector is showing a lot, and the Blood Seer probably a little more, but. Uh, you don't usually see the bolt thrower or the soldier, you know, least of all. But like, I I took the twins tier four list uh, against one of the better players in, in our meta, and uh, I won with with the twins with that list. And uh, they took out a lot of models. They were really good. And I even had one of those. My one of my protectors was shot off the table top top of turn two. So like, you know, I lost one model. That's you know five points off the table. But like. They have, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. Like, I, so I started play testing just all Nephilim lists with like Epic Abbey and things like that, and they do, re they do really well. You know, they hit, they hit relatively hard. They're, you know, they're, they have really high thresholds, so they rarely frenzy, which is nice. Um, and I don't know, they're just, they seem to do really well. But it's one of those things. But you don't see a lot of that on, you know, in the lists people are taking. And well, you don't see it because people don't try it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, because I mean, it's one of those things. I mean, it's the same thing. Like I said, when I first looked at the Epic Zol theme force, like I first looked at it, and I was, and I, and I stated even on the show that even I have to say I'm not a hundred percent sure about this this theme force. Like it looks a little weird to me. It looks a little weird because it it's lacking in any living models. And then of course, you know, it seems mm -hmm. score energy. Mm -hmm. pretty common in the faction uh but in, you know like i said and people played it and now they're absolute you know they're actually you know winning with it and they're dominating with it they're doing yeah. really really well with it and i mean that's the thing it's just you know sometimes you'll look at something on paper and you're just like i don't see how this is actually going to work but what we have to remember and what we you know what a lot of times that we forget uh is the fact that these guys have played like 
numerous games with these casters long before the release and trying to, you know, trying to curtail something. Sometimes they'd cut off too much and sometimes they just leave too much on and, you know, that's where the erratas come in. But, I mean, that's just where numerous amounts of playing comes in. I mean, you can, if you were to get on and say, I have played over 500 games <laughs> with this unit and I just absolutely cannot seem to make them work. They just suck. I just they're just not my favorite. It's not your play style. Yeah. You, know, you know, sometimes it's not your play style. Sometimes you know they're that's just true. Some I, mean, part. You know, I, I play Legion. Sometimes your synergies is off. You're just yeah. running them with the wrong caster or the wrong units. Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, the blight wasps wasps don't work with every caster. They don't, you know. But some guys like Epic Abbey or you know, there's there's certain you know, lists where they can jam. They do really well. Uh, Ep Epic Thagrosh, they do really good with. It's just, but it's it's finding those casters and you know, I, I think about like for example the Afflictor in Legion. Like most people don't even know what the heck that model is. It's the one that makes the little Incubus tokens. Um, um, you know, it's it's not impressive on the table. Is that like the the, the like grossly inappropriate model? Yeah, I got two of them. Yep. Right? <laughs> They're on the shelf, so. yep. Okay. That's one. I have I'm, another I'm one pretty sure that the bottom part of that thing I saw on seven wasn't that the <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to go back and watch. What did it attach to him when yeah, he uh, break yeah, into the room? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. But all right, but, but, it's, but this is another example of a model that's you know really taken. in the box. What's in the box? Um, it's an afflictor model. <laughs> <laughs> so a guy comes to see you. He's carrying a package. There's a lot of guys that come to see me carrying a package. <laughs> Some guys carry suit or suitcases, suitcases full, full of stuff. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you like what you do? Things that you see? No. No, but you're right. I mean, you know, sometimes the, you know, even the models that are just so little seen. I mean, you have the, the tan Titan Cannoneer in Scorn. Um, nobody nobody ever uses it. But, I mean, it actually, you know, Tom was actually able to take it to a tournament and use it very well with the Makeda 3 anti Cricks list. Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, he made it work because that was his play style. I yeah. mean, that's... It's, it's it really just it, I mean the only reason that you're the only way that you're going to beat that is by more people and I'm not saying I'm not saying apathy I'm not you know I'm not saying turn a blind eye but filter yeah. it out and that's that's kind of something like for those of you guys watching uh, one of the things that we really tried to do when we first started Counter Slam that we talked about uh, when we were putting all this together was that we wanted to take lists with models that people didn't normally see. We wanted to take uh, casters that people normally didn't play and play them on the show and just kind of show off what they could do, like how, how they could work, how, how these models work, like find different synergies for them. And sometimes they work, sometimes they didn't work. Um, you know, but at the same time, like that's that's part of the fun of the game though, is, is you know, we we all know the tournament list. They're all up on discount games. You can look at <laughs> all the lists. Mm -hmm. You can add an entire list to your shopping cart if you want to, if you want to buy that list. Um, but the the, but the idea is that you know there's there's so many other options out there and you know what we try to do is to show you guys those options like you know some of the lists that we play we, we're very we're pretty usually somewhat pretty split down the middle casual and, and competitive meta and the, for the casual guys you know we take the models that people don't normally see and we play them and you know we and like when I take the Ogren and they're like what the heck is that <laughs> yeah, well, you know just because know. it's they're to me they're fun to play but at the same time like uh, it's kind of cool that way it sort of catches your opponent off guard and, and that's really I think how a lot of people tend to win is because half this game is knowing what your opponent does <laughs> like have mobility dang it <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I was like ha ha rough terrain no, no it didn't work no, um, no. so yeah I forgot I had mobility too dang it that um, would not save you yeah I know so uh, but anyway Dyerick. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get you one day, Brad. One I day. I know. I'll get you next time, Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it all boils down. Everyone has their own. Like they, they, you can't please everybody. Yeah. At yeah, the end yeah. of the day, you can't please everybody. Uh, they're always gonna go and compare, you know, this stat line to this other stat line. Well, I'd rather uh, play the, I'd rather play Scar One than Scar Two. It, I would too. It, it, really, <laughs> it really does, and it, yeah. and it does. Yeah. And I mean, you know, if, if you wanna, if you, if you wanna help the, if you wanna help your, if you wanna help your faction, the best thing that you can do is just talk about the the positive things that you have learned mm -hmm. about. It. You know, it's, it's like, hey, you know. Or if you are having a hard time saying, making something work, you know, talk about it. If you if you still can't make it work, move on to something that is more your play style. I mean, sometimes they're just I I just Makeda one just don't enjoy it. 
Mm-hmm. Try to play her multiple times. She can be a very strong caster. Jed Hansen uh, in Australia has has won multiple Masters qualifiers, I believe. You think he's one of the top rated scoring players in Australia, and does Tyrant's uh, Handbook podcast. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I mean, he that's all he's run. I mean, Mika, his Makeda one list. And I'm trying to remember what his other list is for the life of me. It's it's escaping me at the moment. Mm-hmm. Scoring right. check also run Makeda one a lot. Um, yeah, horn check, uh, yeah. and Jason Watt. You know his yep. his Makeda one list, and I just can't. I just yeah. just no enjoyment like whatsoever. Every single time I pick up the cast, or I'm just like blah. And P Xerxes, and I mean even the fist. Like I've run the fist, I've played the fist, I love the fist to a certain degree. It's strong, but it's just not my play style. Boring, right? <laughs> it's and I mean, but no, it's strong. It's not yeah. that it's not a strong list, and it's not that it's not a good list, and it's not right. that it's not a competitive list. It's just not my play style. Sure. And I mean, I see and I can play it, and I and I understand it, but it's just you know, what I recommend is pick up what you like. Yeah. You know, you know, and and try and do new things. Try crazy things. Try spamming. Play people, grotesque. People don't want to spam. Dang it. No. People don't want to spam. People don't want to spam at all. They're like, oh, I want to do this, this. And I mean, sometimes you get a little too spread out. And I mean, I mean I'm guilty of that. My epic Zol list, I'm a little over here, I'm a little over there. Like Sometimes just try and, you know, bring it in a little bit and try and spam a little bit, you know. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that's why people don't get epic Xerxes is because of the fact that they don't get is like he is just perfect for spam. Like it doesn't matter what your spam is. Like you can spam like battle engines. Yeah, like <laughs> you wanna, you wanna, and, and, hey, you want to spam Siege Animatrixes with him? I just tear. I would just tear the table up with Siege Animatrix yeah. right now. And with yeah. the with the errata that it got, and I could put him in the theme force and take him at eight points a piece. I would just jack people up. Ferox absolutely would just tear things up. Uh, spamming Cyclops brutes. You know, putting Moloch Karn. Putting Tiberian, I mean, any, I mean, putting the new Sentinels in there, I mean, uh, I mean, but sometimes you know, people just have to, you you do want to stick with what you know, like what you like, but you do have to break out of your comfort zone a little bit and try things that might be a little bit different. And if they don't work for you, hey, they don't work for you, but at least you tried something different. Yeah, yeah. and I've done that. I've done that recently. I did. I have, I've been playing Cricks. And yeah, I've been playing Chris. <laughs> and uh, winning. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I it's never addictive. thought I never thought I'd play Morton Ebra. I always thought that she was low par. Didn't didn't really think about yeah. it about her that much. Well, I started playing her about three months ago. I made it to the final table in a tournament mm-hmm. with Morton Ebra. Yeah, playing her in her tier. Ghost walking it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Death Jack, Spectral Steel, yeah, plus yeah, two yeah. armor. Stupid. You know, yeah. I mean, what you can do, too, with her is running infantry. Like, that's one of those things, yeah. right? Right? Nobody thinks to run infantry with her. Like, to run her out of tier. And she, like, Bane Thralls, re-roll hits and damage rolls? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You will murder, like, or in Satixis? Like, yeah, they get the job done with her. It's, it's nuts. Yeah, but it's, it's funny because somebody was actually saying, I, I can't remember what it was. I built a list. It was, it was an anti crix It was building, trying to work on an anti crix list. So he's like, "Oh, my more never list will tear right through you," and I'm like, "Who texts for more <laughs> never?" <laughs> exactly. I'm exactly. attacking. Take it. I'm taking for the lich lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and it, it, and it, like I run the I run the tier with four stalkers. Oh, yeah. So I'm running four stalkers, and then they they're all the way up the table. Yeah, so all the way up the table, and they're always going to be in her control. Yeah. Due to that errata, everyone, <laughs> I have the old cards, and like they're like, well, wait a minute, they're not in your controller. I was like, oh no, there's an errata. No, it's 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 not in their extended control. Yeah, she is, like yeah. in the back of the card. I have I have one of the old stalker cards. Oh, okay. Before the before the errata. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you know, so on the back of the card it says, oh, this model can only be in this controller for purposes of, uh, not even not even to allocate focus. Oh, weird. So. But it, um, for purposes of force, or, 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 yeah, or, yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, ever since I ran out of those stalkers, you know, no, nobody thought, well, no, I'm gonna run those stalkers, we, you know, we'd rather just run infantry like all cricks, you know, and that's what I thought when I first started cricks. Mm-hmm. I'd run all the Satixis, all the Banes. Hey, look, a cricks list with Banes, a surprise, yeah. but nobody thought, we're gonna, I'm gonna drop a cricks list with all jacks. Yeah, and you know we look to the people watching this. I, I I'm going to issue a challenge to you players who are watching this right now. Next time, like for the next 
like say the next month that you're out playing, like pick something that people just don't normally play, something that people are poo-pooing a lot, mm -hmm. and try to make it work and see what happens. Just try it and see if it ends up becoming one of your favorite models. Who knows? One of your favorite units, one of your favorite casters. Like, get get out of your comfort zone and play something different. That's what kind of what we're doing here. Be like be a big true counter slammer. Play something different. Yeah, so we're gonna get shirts made. So <laughs> it'll say counter, counter slam. slam. What, what's that on the table? No, I don't know, but. Uh, <laughs> Have a count, you know. I'm a counter slammer with an arrow pointing down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, with that said, uh, anyway, so we guys are watching this. Adepticon's actually already over. Uh, Jose and I were there. Thanks for playing against us in advance. <laughs> <laughs> a few of a few of us other will be there too, Brett and uh, Tom and a lot of those other guys will be out there too. So uh, feel free, to, you know. Hopefully, we got a chance to meet you guys. And, and when we do, we always go out and people always stop and say hi, and it's always awesome. So and thanks this for is the guy that me. punches the camera. That's the guy that punches the camera. <laughs> uh, and uh, but uh, oh, so after this game, you guys will see the next week's game. After round one is done, we're actually going to kind of pause the tournament for a bit. We're actually going to get back to regular games for probably four or five games. To so give you guys a good chance to see uh, some regular stuff, and like some of you guys have been asking when we're gonna get back to regular games, uh, so we'll do that before we hit, head back to round two, and then uh, so yeah, so we'll have quite a few episodes this season, which will turn out pretty good. So we'll be probably heading straight into the summertime by the time this the season's over, which is pretty pretty good for us. Perfect. Take so. a two week break and. Uh... We'll be ready for hopefully some new great things on the horizon. Yeah. So hopefully mm -hmm. uh, next, maybe not this Sunday because we'll be getting back from Adepticon. Uh, it may actually be kind of busy. We'll see. But um, the, the Sunday after that, we'll try to get a game on for you guys to watch and, and, and enjoy. So we'll keep you guys posted on Facebook. If you're not if you're not subscribed to us there, join us on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, we may actually try to move the, the, the show actually to YouTube instead of uh, doing Twitch. So we'll see how that goes, too. We might do that for a few games and see how that how that works. So. Didn't we already try that and it didn't work out so great? Uh, we had a couple technical issues, but I'm going to play with it. So we'll see if we can get it working. You're going to play with it. That's what I do. So see, like right now, I'm going to do this and we're going to end the show. So see you guys in the next episode of Counter-Slam. <laughs>